It's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. Oh, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Oh, red light. All right, uh, Gucci Mane uh, in the state court of DeKalb County. Ask the court. Oh. Uh-oh. Watch the throne. What just happened? Digital Diva just, not only did, look, not only did she disconnect the phone line, which are all X's now. Show that. Uh-oh. She also dropped our little boards on the floor. Oh, wow. Way yeah. to go, Sonya. She learned Sonya. how to do that from Tamika, our producer, <laughs> yeah. who's, who's the Knocks number one dropping everything during the live broadcast. Oh, great. Okay, Gucci Mane wants a reduced sentence. This is the one where he threw the woman out of the car. Right. After she uh, refused a sexual proposition from the, the rapper. Where, you know, he said he was only offering her pancakes. She you, said he wanted to pan her cake. Right, and clearly. Difference. Flatten them cakes out. Two counts of battery, two counts of reckless conduct, and disorderly conduct. Um... Uh, so we don't know what's going to happen with that. But Waka Flock has already tweeted, Gucci home on October 21st. Nice. But he's still in jail. I was going to say, how long will he be out? Yeah, that, no, no. We're past October 21st. Oh, okay. <laughs> so right. this didn't happen. So unless we go into a time machine. Right. Yeah, yeah I can never keep track with, with, I love Gucci so much, but I can never keep track when that man's locked up or not. Uh, in other entertainment news, it seems that 50 Cent is questioning Lil Wayne's uh, Carta Four sales. Yeah. Uh, he told Global Grind, to be honest with you, Lil Wayne's sales are a little suspect to me because it was trending 600,000 pieces that week and they didn't do a million copies. It was like 900,000. He said the Carter Three commanded that energy, but the last one that just came out, those numbers are funny. I, number one, why are we talking about this three months after the album came out. Because that's what 50 does. He hasn't remained talking about something. He's so opportunistic, I swear. You know, and I'm like, he would have killed for those 900,000 funny numbers that Wayne got on his last album. When was his last album? What was on his last album? Seriously, what was the song? I'm not even being smart. What was it? He doesn't need the money. What was it? It's like you saying, and Bill Gates has invented what? Huh? Hey man, I ain't, I'm you not knocking his vitamin water game, bro. I know I'm not knocking yeah. his vitamin water game. I'm just saying you're calling his numbers funny, but funny or not, um, he sold about six million more than you. But he doesn't need it. Okay, that's then like stop you, coming out like with albums. Said, that's like me saying to Ted Turner. Oh, you know, so what? You got more land than anybody else in the entire United States. You don't own Auburn Avenue. Okay. Whatever. Like, what? <laughs> okay, uh, Usher, a handicap spot in Atlanta, TMZ. There's a video. Uh, the Lil Five Points Halloween Parade. Yep. Parked in the uh, the blue lanes. Yeah, he parked in a, in a handicap lane. And then, of course, a woman came up and said, You're not handicapped. Don't you ooh, get your ass out of the lane. Grandma. And they got into an argument. And she tried to attack him. She pointed her finger at him. You don't belong here, Usher. <laughs> For sure. They pulled her away. The funny thing is it looked like a thriller video because everybody has on Halloween costumes. Right. Seriously. So it's like, you know, it's like, you don't belong here. And all those people are like this. Dun, dun, dun. It's crazy. It's like thriller. It's crazy. Uh, so, you know. What, what do you got? You got the, 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 yeah. the fight? No, the, the uh, Michael, talking about Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. You know, just when you thought Michael Jackson could get any weirder as we get ready for Halloween. Uh, Brett Ratner, who is going to, of course, be in charge of the Academy Awards. Yeah, says X, that, X-Men films and all that. Well, Money Talks started yeah, all Money off Talks, yeah. With Chris Tucker. Yeah, big And record. the Friday franchise. He's the man. Yes. Dated uh, everyone. Serena. Yes, he did. And I only want to tell you how. I, how do you know that? How do I know the difference between the two? Between Serena and Venus? Yeah. How? Because I would say Venus looks like the fly trap. Okay. Um. Here's Brett Ratner. That's so mean. Talking about uh, <laughs> Michael Jackson 
and his pranks. On Jimmy Kimmel. On Jimmy Kimmel. And now Michael Jackson, you, I know you're a friend of Michael Jackson's. Yeah. Did you meet him from a music video? Uh, no, no, I met him, God, when I was the, did the first rush hour. All he wanted to do was practical jokes on people, and I'll never forget, I would sleep in the Elizabeth Taylor suite when she wasn't there. I was sleeping one night, and his voice, because there's an intercom system, and he goes, Brett? Wake up, I'm sending Kato to come get you. And I'm like, Kato. he had a limo driver who was a short Japanese guy named Kato <laughs> that he would make wear a tuxedo and a hat. And he had the longest stretch limousine you've ever seen in my life. He puts on a Hulk mask and says, go into the bathroom, meet me in the bathroom. I go, this is getting strange, okay? <laughs> Four in the morning, we're in Santa Barbara in a 7-Eleven, you want me to meet you? Buy some balloons. He comes in the bathroom, he, we start filling up water balloons. I guess it must have been Jackson. like a homeless guy just walking on the side of the expressway. And the guy is just literally walking like this, and Michael Jackson says, Kato, hit the brakes! We <laughs> catch up to the guy, and he finally, the guy just stops, and he just hits him with the water balloon. <laughs> wow, it sounds like I was yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Jackson. I'm everywhere. You just, you can't be stopped. I, I'm obviously, you know, I'm doing PA for one of the high school teams. Are you? Somebody who's in the, in the, uh, in the news industry said, are you at this game between whatever the two teams are? And I was like, no, I'm not. They said, you're lying. Everybody thinks it's you. And then I was like, I blew it off. And then next week, somebody else did it. What are they doing? And then they sent me a video of the guy saying, good night, have a safe drive home. He sounds I, like you? I thought I was there. <laughs> like, for real. You started wondering maybe you were sleepwalking. No, I'm like, like, it's crazy. Wow. I'm like, did I take that many Ambien? <laughs> that is your Ryan Report. And no. I got to stop drinking. No. And no. No. No what? We don't have any more tickets. V103. <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know.